you're still using default Roblox settings, you're missing out on serious performance gains. In this video, I'll show you the latest block strap fast flags that unlock hidden tweaks to boost FPS and make Roblox run smoother than ever. Let's get into it. What's directed with the lag and hyping while you play games, so that you need a gear of boost. So. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Rope players like Asian Jeff and Polar Eye to use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. Start by typing msconfig into the Windows search bar and clicking on the result to open the system configuration window. This built-in Windows tool lets you manage system services and startup behavior, which directly affects how smoothly games like Roblox run, especially on lower-end setups. Once the system configuration window opens, head to the Services tab. This section lists every background service currently running, many of which quietly drain your system's performance. To make things easier, check the box that says Hide All Microsoft Services. This filters out essential Windows services so you don't accidentally disable something critical. What remains are third-party services, most of which are unnecessary for gaming. Disable anything you don't recognize as essential. This frees up RAM and CPU power, allowing Roblox to run more efficiently with fewer stutters and background interruptions. After that, click Apply and then OK. Now switch over to the General tab and select Selective Startup. This option gives you control over what runs when your PC starts up. Uncheck Load Startup Items to disable unnecessary software from launching in the background. This ensures that when you launch Roblox, it's not competing for resources with programs you don't need. This tweak especially helps systems that struggle with multitasking. Next, move to the Boot tab. First, uncheck the No GUI Boot option. This might seem like a small step, but skipping the graphical interface during boot can slightly reduce boot time, allowing Windows to reach an optimal state quicker, which is helpful before launching a game like Roblox. Then, lower the timeout value to 5 seconds. This number controls how long your system waits before booting into Windows. Reducing it trims down startup delays and gets you into your system and Roblox faster. Now click the Advanced Options West button within the Boot tab. Here, you'll find an option labeled Number of Processors. Check this box and choose the highest number available. Doing this ensures that Windows uses all of your CPU's cores effectively. This can have a direct impact on performance, especially in Roblox, where certain maps and scripts can push older CPU's. By fully utilizing your processor, you can expect smoother frame rates and quicker game loading times. Once all these settings are configured, hit OK and then restart your PC. When it boots back up, your system will be leaner, faster, and far better optimized to run Roblox with improved FPS and reduced stuttering, especially on entry-level or mid-range hardware. Now head over to my official website using the link provided in the description below and download the Roblox FPS Boost Pack. Once you're on the site, navigate to the FPS Boost section you'll see the latest post featuring the same title and thumbnail as the video you're currently watching. That's the one you need. To begin optimizing Roblox for better FPS and smoother performance, start by opening the downloaded registry folder inside the pack. You'll find several .reg files neatly arranged within. Each of these registry tweaks has been carefully crafted to make behind-the-scenes improvements to your system. Simply double-click on each file one by one, confirm the prompts to apply the changes, and move on to the next file. These registry entries are designed to reduce unnecessary background activity, free up CPU usage, and shift more system power toward running Roblox. This means less lag, fewer stutters, and a much more responsive gaming experience overall, especially noticeable in busy Roblox servers or custom games with a lot of scripts and effects. After applying the registry tweaks, it's time to use the latest fast flag file. Locate the file named Blockstrap Launcher inside your FPS Boost Pack and download it to your PC. This tool functions as a custom launcher for Roblox and gives you access to advanced settings that aren't available through the regular client. Once downloaded, install it like you would with any other software. Just follow the on-screen steps and let the process complete. When installation finishes, open your Windows search bar, type Blockstrap, and launch the program. Inside the interface, click on the Configure Settings button. Now head over to the Engine by Fast Flag Settings tab. Scroll until you reach the section labeled Fast Flags. You might see a warning prompt here. Go ahead and click I know what I'm doing. This unlocks access to hidden performance features that can make a real difference in how smoothly Roblox runs. Next, click on the Add New button. Now return to the folder where your Roblox FPS Boost Pack is saved and open the text file included with it. This file contains a carefully curated set of optimized graphics flags, each one designed to disable visual clutter and prioritize performance. Copy the entire content of that file. Back in Blockstrap, paste the copied text directly into the Fast Flags field and click OK. If any confirmation boxes appear, simply press yes or confirm. These prompts are just verifying that your new settings are being applied properly. Once that's done, click save to lock in your changes and then fully close Blockstrap. From now on, every time you launch Roblox, it will run with your custom fast flag configuration already active. 
These optimizations help minimize input lag, boost frame rates, and create a smoother, more stable experience. Perfect for lower end PCs or systems that struggle with stuttering and random FPS drops during gameplay. Now it's time to optimize your CPU to ensure Roblox runs as smoothly and efficiently as possible. Start by installing one of the best tools for managing CPU performance, Park Control. Once the application is open, scroll down to the performance profiles and select Bitsum Highest Performance. This profile is specially designed to push your CPU to its maximum capabilities, eliminating any automatic throttling and allowing for full processor performance during gaming sessions. Next, tweak a few important settings to make sure your CPU stays fully active. Set both Parking AC and Parking DC to 100% and make sure to disable them. Do the same for Frequency Scaling AC and Frequency Scaling DC. By disabling these options, you're preventing your CPU from lowering its frequency or parking any cores, ensuring that all available power is directed toward running Roblox and other active tasks without slowdown or delay. Now look for the setting called Bitsum Dynamic Boost and make sure it's enabled. This smart feature automatically manages CPU threads depending on the workload. During lighter tasks, it conserves power by disabling unused threads, but when you launch a game like Roblox, it quickly activates all cores to give you that extra boost in responsiveness and frame rates. Finally, go to your Windows Power options and select Bitsum Highest Performance as your active power plan. Before applying the change, double check that every CPU related slider or percentage value is set to 100% to guarantee you're getting the most out of your hardware. Once you're sure, click Make Active and then hit Apply. By locking your CPU at full performance and disabling all unnecessary power saving features, you'll get noticeably better frame rates, reduced stutter, and a much smoother Roblox experience, especially in resource heavy games or crowded multiplayer servers. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your Ping C. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now, go to the Not tab, where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. For the next step in optimizing Roblox performance, open Device Manager by right-clicking on the Windows icon and selecting Device Manager from the menu. Once the window opens, scroll down and expand the section labeled System Devices. This area contains a list of internal system components that quietly influence how your hardware performs. Carefully scroll through the list until you find a component called High Precision Event Timer. While this timer is meant to help with system timing, it's been known to cause reduced FPS and inconsistent performance on many setups, especially in games like Roblox that rely on steady frame delivery. To disable it, simply right-click on High Precision Event Timer and choose Disable Device. Don't worry, this won't harm your system, and you can always reverse the change later if needed. In most cases, disabling this timer can lead to smoother gameplay, fewer frame drops, and a more responsive feel inside Roblox. Now open the Windows search bar, type Advanced System Settings, and click the result that appears. In the System Properties window, locate the Performance section and click on the Settings button. When the Performance Options window appears, switch to the Advanced tab. Under the Virtual Memory section, click on Change. A new window will open, showing how your system currently handles paging files. First, uncheck the box that says Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives. This lets you manually adjust the settings for better performance. Now select your local disk C. This is where the virtual memory will be applied. In the Custom Size fields, we'll set optimized values. For the initial size, enter 1361 MB. This is a balanced starting point that ensures stability. For the maximum size, you'll need to calculate a value based on your system's RAM. To do this, open the calculator and multiply your total amount of RAM in GB by 10 to convert it into megabytes. For example, if you have 16 GB of RAM, multiply 16 by 10 for 16384, then divide that by 2 to get 8192. This number, half of your total RAM in MB, should be used as the maximum size. Once both values are entered, click Set. 
then press OK to apply the changes. Virtual memory allows Windows to use a portion of your hard drive as extra memory when your physical RAM is fully used. For Roblox, this helps reduce lag and prevents crashes when large maps or scripts push your system's memory to its limits, especially helpful on low or mid-end PCs with 4 to 8 GB of RAM. And that's a wrap for today's video. If this helped you boost your Roblox FPS, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe for more powerful tweaks and tips, and as always, peace out.